Kevin here, and here at my channel we learn how to make the web and how to make it look good while we're at it with weekly tips, tricks, and tutorials, and every single Friday we try and do one in under five minutes. This week I want to take a look at how we can just strip all the styling off of something in with one line of code. Just, whew, everything's gone, you're starting from scratch. Not something you might want to do every single day, but it can be useful with certain uh, elements that you're selecting, you just need to wipe everything off. So we're going to be looking at the all property, which not everybody really knows about, as well as the onset value, which uh, is onsets everything. So right here is the timer. Let's go and check those out. This isn't something that I'd use on a super regular basis, but it can be really handy for a few specific things. The most useful example I can think of is for styling a button is that it has so many default styles on it already. So that's why I have a button here already uh, ready to go. What we're going to be doing here, uh, well, first we have to do is actually select my button. So let's come and uh, do that. So dot button as I have added the class to it. And actually you should have a role equals button on here too. If it's not something you'll be um, actually clicking on um, to submit a form that will help prevent some problems on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to come on here and do an all and on set. And boom, everything is gone for it. It looks like regular text. So what I've done here is I've onset all of the properties on my button, setting them all to their default, which will either be initial or inherit depending on the property. This isn't resetting it to the default this, the, the default for the element, as you've noticed. The default for this element has a background on it and has some other stuff on it. So it's gotten rid of everything you might expect, but this ends up being more useful. Um, so just as an example, and this is something I didn't realize about the initial property, but the display property always will reset to inline because irregardless of what element, like a paragraph, the browser will set a paragraph's default to block. But um, when you use on set, if it's on the display property, it becomes an inline element. Um, so when I do my onset all here, it's resetting everything back to zero. So for most things, it, I, so as I said, for most things, I wouldn't go to this extreme of wanting to reset everything about it. Um, it this is going to reset font sizes if you do an all on set. So like if you had an H1, H2, H3, and you're like, oh, I'm going to use this just to sort of set things up, it's going to, you know, everything is getting stripped away from it. So just to be a little bit careful for that. Use onset for other things. It doesn't have to be with the all property. Um, and again, the all property, I haven't really talked about it. It's just selecting every single possible property for this button. Um, one thing you might ask is why the font size didn't change. The way onset works is it's either setting to initial or to the inherit of the property, depending which which one is their default. So for font size, the default is actually inherit. So it's inheriting from the parent, which is the body in this case. So it's inheriting this font size as its default. Um, so it's an the onset's an interesting thing that you can use, and all can be you know if you need to change something really fast, you just need to strip everything away. This is a nice, easy, fast way to do it. And once we've done that, then you can come into your button and you can actually uh, style it up a little bit. So let's speed things up and just style this really, really fast so we can make our button look nice. And now it looks all right. Nothing too fancy here, but uh, the nice thing here is um, I can use this on a button or a link and I don't have to worry about the original user agent styles for either one. So my button had an original background color. It had some other stuff. Buttons always come with some default. I think there's a border on there. Uh, my link had obviously an underline and had some other stuff with it. So I don't have to have anything taking the underline off. And that's kind of nice and handy here but just because I do an onset all and it's just anything that becomes a button or styled as a button um, will just look exactly like anything else that was. And that is the all property and the onset value. I hope you learned something from this. Um, I know I did when I was researching it, so that was a bit of fun. I didn't really understand how initial actually worked, and now I do, so that's really cool. Um, one quick word before you go. Browser support is really good, except Internet Explorer and Edge. Um, Everything supports the onset property except for Internet Explorer, and Edge also doesn't support the all property yet either, sadly. 
but I'm guessing it's on its way, fingers crossed. Uh, it won't be in the next version, but we don't know after that. So hopefully that's something that will make its way into Edge, uh, just so we can start using it a little bit more often. This is really a couple of things that you're not going to be using on a regular basis. They're not something you're putting in every single site you make, but it's one of those things that they're going to solve one of those problems you're having that's just driving you bananas. You're going to remember, hey, there's something that can fix this and hopefully it comes back to you quickly. Um, these are those, those tr little gems that come up with CSS in certain situations and they're just the perfect fix. I love stuff like this in CSS. Um, and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to my patrons for helping support this channel. Happy Friday, everybody. And until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.